Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Sneva, Earlier Craft Doctor, and I'm here with the next video based on a haul I got today. I received this in the mail. Um, this is the Say It With Flowers Gemini card uh, creator die set, and it came with this stamp set. And so I decided to make a card with it. Um, so I cut out the pieces um, and for the flowers, different flowers, and I put pearls on the inside. I um, used my ball tool to kind of shape them and get them ready to be put in what I consider the pot, or which is the pot. Um, this is the pot that you create that you can make the card die with, which is what this is. You can open it up like that. And so I stamped uh, a sentiment on the inside of it. And then this fits perfectly right on top, just like that. I stamped the pot because it looked really plain to me. And so I decided to stamp it. So what I did was I grouped a bunch of the flower stamps um, in the stamp kit. All of these. One, two, three, and four. Those four. I grouped them together to stamp those um, in different... Uh, with ink that was tone on tone. This is um, Grasshopper. Grass, yeah, Grasshopper Quick Dry Ink from Crafter's Companion. Um, so, <clears throat> then I decided uh, I needed to figure out a way to keep the flowers together as opposed to, um, um, like, connecting them to each other. So, I decided to put it either on the back of this piece here that I created that looks like a brick wall. Or to use this piece here and let that stand as the base for the flowers. And I kind of settled on the brick wall. I really like the brick wall better. Um, so then the first thing that I'm going to do is glue this to the brick wall. Okay. <clears throat> I'm using my uh, ATG, the advanced tape glider. And uh, one of my comments um, was about what people use um, because tape, um, glue makes your stuff wet and the tape is getting very expensive. So what I did was I started researching places because I usually buy mine in bulk from the local craft store. But when the, you know, the situation happened and you couldn't get into the stores to buy stuff, I found myself trying to figure out a way to get tape when I need it because since you as you can see I use both of them sometimes simultaneously so what I did was I bought my tape in bulk um, <clears throat> I just bought this berry glue which I'm pretty happy with but it's not the glue that I use all the time I usually use glue all that you can buy in a gallon container from Michaels and so that was the glue my glue of choice um, I pop this up so the flowers can go easily in there um, on the top part so um, I usually use my glue all but when I'm doing my paint pouring I'm using up that gallon of glue because you use glue, uh, one of the components in paint pouring is glue <clears throat> so now I don't have a lot of that so I bought this to see if it worked the problem with it is it's the same price as a gallon of glue and everybody tells me oh I don't use that of course there my puppies go somebody is at the door um, I don't use that because this is better but Elmer's was made for paper <laughs> and the glue all works really good I really don't have a lot of issues with that glue all. I really do like it so what I did was um, I'm going to take a side issue from this. I buy my tape in bulk. Um, where's the front of this box? I'm trying to make sure my name is on it. But see, I buy these rolls in bulk. They come, you know, in, in packs like this. Like that. And I buy them in a case. And in this case... I got this from Uline, and this case 
this is what it looks like, and that is the number for it. Let me clear up. Let me see if I can make my focus work a little better for me. 70, there's 72, well, there's not 72 rolls in here anymore, but um, it comes with 72 rolls. Okay, by no means is this inexpensive because there's so many, but in the long run, you save, and they really work well with this um, ATG. So that's how, what I do with my tape. I don't, you know, I bite the bullet and I pay the ex one price and this tape lasts for a long, 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 long time. Like literally a long, long time. <laughs> so um, it only cost me $2.10 per roll. Okay, so it, this uh, has a frame in it, a frame die in it. It's right there. So I cut out the frame die after I stamped this sentiment and then I put it on here and it looked too plain to me. So what I did was create my own backing. All I did was take the die and draw a circle around it. Sorry about that. So what I did was I cut this out and then I took the die itself and I drew around it and cut it out to make a matte layer. Which is the way you can make your own matte layers when you don't have a uh, extra dye or something to make a matte layer. So that's how I did that. And so I'm just going to put this one here. So yeah, that's how I get my um tape. Uh, and I, I use it. That's why I, I <laughs> sometimes I'm very careless. I use a lot of tape sometimes because I have a lot of it you know how that is so you use a lot until you get down to a little bit and you be trying to sparing sp use it sparingly so there go our fire pot sentiment okay so now I'm about to dress my flower pot so what I did was I took a picture I set it up and then I took a picture so I can make sure that it looks the way I want it to look so I'm going off my picture I'm like I took a picture see <laughs> I'm going off my picture and <clears throat> I what I really wanted to use is some hot glue but I forgot to put my hot glue um, plug it in so I'm just gonna use this regular glue oh you know what I can use instead I can use the 3D glue gel because it dries very quickly. Um, I think that's what I'll do instead. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. I attempted to fill this thing up and I overfilled it, not paying attention. So I'm not going to waste this. So I'm just going to uh, use it to put my flowers on. And so I'm going to put one right there. Actually, it's supposed to go under there. There we go. Under there. And then this one. And I'm using those extra petals to slide right underneath there like that and then I have this big one right here and it's gonna slide whoa go under there right there and then this one actually it's, it's this one this one goes right here And then this one goes there. And then I'm cleaning up my little container. And then when you close this, you always let a little bit go out like that. And then you close that up. Okay. And then I have this piece where this plunger goes in the bottom of it. 
but because I still have so much extra, I'm going to use it straight from the top and then I'll put that plunger in it. Okay, and then we have this piece. It's going to go right there. This one is going to go up here. This one. gonna go right there you always got to jimmy rig something when you mess up and then i'm going to put my uh, under in there and this does not go here it goes right there this one goes here. This one goes there. And then we have these leaves that I'm tucking in. And making a mess okay and then we have these pieces that that I'm tucking in underneath those and these are still part of the dies This one here. This one. Goes right at the top. And it slides. This is another reason why I didn't want to use um, hot glue. Because I wouldn't have been able to pick these up. And this will fit in a five by seven envelope because this is only four and three fourths, a little bit over four and three fourths. Okay. So now that I'm done with that part, I want to take some glossy accents. And I cut out some extras just to make sure I have them. Um, I want to put some glossy accents on the leaves. Okay. And I already put the rhinestones in there um, inside the flowers. And then I want to just drop a couple of um, on here to make it look like Misty or Duke, you know. Just on a few petals. And it reminds you of dew, dew drops on the flowers. All right, and that is our flower design. I think that turned out pretty cute. I think that turned out pretty cute. And then you can lift this up to see the inside. That's why I left that piece at the top available. 
I think it's really it really turned out really good. Just a different way that you can use the Say It With Flowers flower stamp and die set. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.